Lassie! Lassie! No, Miss Lady, ma'am. Miss Lady. Ah, good morning, Lassie. Tis a bunny bra break day. Uh, the day. Well, Miss Lady, is there uh, something wrong? Aye, tell us, Lassie. If somebody's been mistreating you... Oh, no, Jock. It's something I've done, I guess. <clears throat> it must be. Jim, dear, and darling are acting so... Jim, dear, and darling? Hush, man. Lassie, get on with the details. Well, I first noticed it the other day when Jim Deere came home. Down, lady, down. Darling, darling, are you all right? Why shouldn't I be? Well, I just can't help worrying. After all, in your condition, alone here all day, you walk in the dog. That that He's never called me that before. Well now, Lassie. I wouldn't have worried my wee head about that. Remember. They're only humans, after all. That's right, Miss Lady. Uh, as my grandpappy, old Reliable, used to say, um, don't recollect if I've ever mentioned old Reliable before. I, you have, laddie, uh, frequently. Oh, yeah. But now Darling is... Well, we've always enjoyed our afternoon romp together. But yesterday... <laughs> No, lady. No walk today. No, lady. Not now. Lady. Drop that lady. Drop it, I say. It didn't hurt, really. But darling has never struck me before. Now, Lassie, didn't it take it too seriously? After all, at a time like this, Why, there's... Why, yes. You see, Miss Lady, there comes a time in the life of all humans when, uh, well, as they put it, uh, the birds and the bees, or, well, uh, the stork, you know, uh, no, well, in a... Uh, what he's trying to say, Lassie, is Darling is expecting a wee bairn. Bairn? He means a baby, Miss Lady. Oh, what's a baby? Well, they... They resemble humans. But I'd say a mite smaller. Aye, and they walk on all fours. And if I remember correctly, they beller a lot. Aye, and they're very expensive. You will not be permitted to play with it. But they're mighty sweet. And they're very soft. Just a cute little bundle <laughs> of trouble. <laughs> yeah. They scratch, pinch, pull ears. But shucks, any dog can take that. It's what they do to your happy home. Move it over, will you, friend? Homewreckers, that's what they are. Look here, laddie. Who are you to barge in? The voice of experience, Buster. <laughs> Boy, just wait till Junior gets here. You get the urge for a nice, comfortable scratch and... Put that dog out. He'll get fleas all over the baby. You start barking at some strange mutt. <laughs> Stop that racket, you'll wake the baby. And then, then they hit you in the room and board department. 
I'll remember those nice, juicy... Forget them. Leftover... And that nice, warm bed by the fire? <laughs> A leaky doghouse. Oh, dear. Dinner, listen, lassie. No human is that cruel. Of course not, Miss Lady. Why, everybody knows a dog's best friend is his human. <laughs> oh, come on now, fellas. Oh, you haven't fallen for that old line now, have you? Aye, and we've no need for mongrels and radical ideas. Off with you, new. Off with you. Off with you. Okay, Sandy. The name's Jock. Yeah, okay, Jock. Heather, lad, of Glen Cairn to you. Okay, okay, okay. But remember this, Pigeon. A human heart has only so much room for love and affection. When a baby moves in, the dog moves out. <laughs>